Hello guys, welcome to the third episode of 1v1.lol's esports season 1 analysis and today we are going to be analyzing round 1 of the tournament the third match which is US West Warriors versus RU Raptors which is the Russian region now um hope you guys enjoyed this series so far i've already made two episodes on the two previous matches please sure to check them out basically for this series i am going to be an analyzing matches from past tournaments and i really hope you guys can take something away and learn something from this series so please enjoy please learn something to gain yourself some 1v1 dollar experience and to improve in your game as a whole. Without further ado, let's jump into 1v1 Esports. Round 1, the third match, US West Warriors versus RU Raptors. I, I do believe in them. Oh, Russia already lost one player after you oh, say no. that. You might have jinxed it. So that right there is fall damage. There isn't much to say. It's just that you have to be very conscious about how you play and how your builds are strengthened or else you are actually going to die from fall damage and that's basically the worst thing to die from in zone wars and you would not want your team to lose a player at the very start of the match and this is exactly what russia did yeah, no, Di Dion or Dion, he's really getting double teamed here. I'm, I'm glad you called that out. Yeah. He is getting, getting a lot Ross of pressure. Ross really needs to kick it up and help his teammate. His teammate's struggling over here, and he ended up dying, losing the very first round. Like, So there right there, guys, is one thing that I would like to emphasize is applying pressure. Now, I've learned this since the very, very first day I started playing 1v1 Dalal competitively, whether it's in team game modes, whether it's in 1v1 game modes. You have to keep applying pressure no matter what. Even if you don't know where your teammate is, or even if you don't know where your opponent is, keep applying pressure to him. It's very, very important to keep the opponent running or keep the opponent um on high pressure and that would indirectly make him uh to make more mistakes and give yourself more opportunities to kill him so this is why applying pressure is very very important it's something that you're affecting that player psychologically you're trying to make them panic and of course by these top tier level tournaments most pro players will have a very strong mentality but if you're playing public matches then it would be a very very useful skill to use just keep pressuring your opponent and do not give them space to even breathe so now we're starting the second match and we see us west in favor of the uh the round right now it's 1-0 uh in favor of us west all right, the light fire has the high ground currently. It looks like the blue team has all this height. If I was red, I would be beaming them out right now. Weens is dropping. Weens is dropping onto a red right now. He's kind of like yep. going against height. Oh, he's on two. They don't he's know on he's two. there. He, they don't know he's there. Yeah, but there's two of them. There's oh, two he's of them. sneaking up. He, he sneaked up. I think he hit a shot right there. And yeah, you got, they need to add hit markers into spectating. But, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, he's stuck. He's already dealt with the lag. Oh no, this is, he needs to get back up to height, back with the, the team, honestly, I think, I think that's their plan, you see, they're, they're all communicating well, you can tell that they're, yeah. they're not, they're not all, And yeah. Blue is really, uh, and Andir gets a kill, and I really think Blue is controlling this entire round, you see them all over the place, and there's oh. only one left. Oh, he's got a kill, yeah, oh, the AKA last guy's Ross there sitting the in zone, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna get he's triple, yep, yeah, there's nothing he's gonna be able oh. to do unless he gets the high ground he's here. Out. He's out. He's made, he got the high right. ground, and I don't he know why I can't off. spectate him. No, but I think it might be worth him just risking it. Though. Wait, Delight's in his, his... Delight's about to be oh. in his box. This is not good. Yeah, and then we've got... This isn't looking Yeah, they're, they're both just shoot them on him. There's, they're underneath trying to shoot him and out. And there yeah. we have it. Round number two going to the U.S. West Warriors. So One thing that I think um, Russia 
the Russia team didn't quite do well is firstly, they um, completely lost the height advantage when the, at the start of the match they were all on low ground and they did not contest for height. And of course, low ground is a way to play and is a tactic if you play it well, but high ground has a far better advantage as you're on height. You can just look down. This is a gun game. This is a Minecraft. You you can get a lot of benefits from getting high ground. And you can see how the Russia team were all just spread out. That is another way of playing things. But if you do not have the individual ability to take on a one-on-one, -on -one, then it would be a very big problem. So I recommend if you're playing with teams that they may not have the individual ability to face off other, uh, another individual player on the opponent team, try to get him into a 2v1 situation and pressure him uh, more so that you can get the advantage out of him. And I think this is what Russia lacked um, during this match. Honestly, have you thought though, because right now we're getting a lot of sweeps, but have you thought what's going to happen when we get these sweepers coming up against each other? Yeah, sweepers against sweepers. They... One thing US West did quite well uh, with the pressuring, uh, they did go on to 2v1 because one player is already down on the RU side, but one thing they did very well, if you guys look over here, there's two players on the left side, and there's the zone on the right. So they're utilizing the zone as a tool for them, and they can kind of do like a sandwich effect on that person, um, because the zone is eating, eating up his health while two players are just shooting at him. So that is another way in zone wars that you can use to pressure your opponents. Just keep them rotating out of zone, and use the zone to your advantage, uh, at the same time, keeping yourself out of zone so that you can get the kill way easier. They'll have a chance oh, to play fell. against. No, 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 fell. They oh, fell. No, they they all fell. Oh, we no. I think out. Out. Wow, that is insane. So 3 0 already. So, yep, that's basically the game. You can see very unfortunate. I don't know why. I think there's like some kind of ping issues doing this fight right here but most of the people die from fall damage which is a big problem um one way actually i'm i'm gonna all right so i'm in a free build match right now and i'm going to crank to height and i'm gonna kind of show you guys how you can how simple steps can save you from fall damage because i find this a very very big problem for you guys so all right same on one height and I just got shot down. The easiest way, of course, is to look for nearby builds, and when you fall down, you can just grab onto them. Of course, I took I would probably die from that height, but if you say um, the height limit without taking fall damage, I believe, is three. So that quick reaction right there, three, one, two, three. Yeah, I missed that, but. You get the point. Having like um, saving yourself with builds is the most convenient way to like stop you from fall damage, and that's basically the most convenient way. And especially in zone wars, you have a lot and a lot of builds and environment around you, so therefore it's going to be a convenient way for you to just grab onto something. And that requires fast reaction. You can play zone wars to practice that or maybe get into like random maps and just try your uh try it out another way which is also a very very common way for pros and even you can do this is to waterfall and what i mean by waterfall is as you have infinite builds you can literally just use walls and ramps or even floors and cones to catch yourself while building down so i'm going to demonstrate it once and you guys will understand how this works so i've done this in multiple videos i've done this in the start of the day i played the game basically what you do is this so you see i'm dropping like two or three 
at a time and then I am catching myself with a ramp. So it prevents me from taking any fall damage. This is the fastest way to get down uh, from height. And if you can do it quickly and time it correctly, you can even do something like this. So you guys can see how fast I got down safely with these kinds of builds. And this is easy to practice. You can just like do that. You can just 90 and then and then you say you fail and jump off and then you just you can just catch yourself like that. And that's very, very, very important for you to catch yourself when you're on height to prevent yourself from fall damage. Well, anyways, guys, that's basically the game of US West Warriors versus RU Raptors. They ended up getting 3 0'd. These are all clean sweeps. But next time you come back to this series, we will see EU Empress faced off with ZA Storm. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, please learn something from this video, um, especially in practice the waterfall I told you to do. So, I figure I don't know why, but a lot of people still don't know this mechanic, and they just like kind of free fall and die from fall damage. So, try to save yourself, and if you really can't rely on others, just save yourself from it. So. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now.